Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's how long since they've been copper. I don't remember what the what the deal was. I just remember all burning things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're already go. We're just starting, and you're going. You monkey. I've got to get food for tomorrow and stuff. All right. All right. Okay. Feed my fiance now. Ah, yeah, that's right. Your fiance. Your fiance. Your got to make moves. Needs to, needs to get fed. Okay. See you, Ian. Later, masturbator. Um, What are all these glasses doing? Tomorrow. Yeah. You have a lot of different styles. Are they all yours? They might be. <laughs> Tell me how much you love Scrabble. Hey, everybody. This is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's Sunday live stream time. Chris, I don't know if you know this. We have had – take that. Take, get, come on. Get rid of that. Get, get away from my Bula de Plata. You have to wait till the mountains are azul. Um, so we've had a great weekend. These are not mine. No, I know. We, we, let me start over again. Yes, we have had, had a great, great weekend. weekend, like Correct. a really excellent weekend. Uh -huh. We sold a guitar today for thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. We have to just stop. And these are just dirty. Yeah, just come on. All right, give me those. And we have to make it though, mm -hmm. which is is still cool. But but it's it's one of those ones where I'm like, eh, I don't want to do this kind of thing anymore. And then someone says. Well, what if I pay you this much money? And I go, I want to do that now. So yeah, so okay. that was a good. And we had some people sign up for classes. Do you know what they call people like that? Yeah, who was? <laughs> we had a bunch of people that signed up for classes this week, and we had uh, our friend Dean signed up for a paint class just today. So we are really doing well. You know him as Dean. Yeah. I know him as Javier Dale. Dale. That makes all the <laughs> sense in the world. Yeah. Does he watch these? I don't know. Like religiously? I don't, some, well, religiously, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that he watches some of them. So okay. I have a bunch of talking points. Good. We have a bunch of people that are in the shop today mm -hmm. and are being, they're on their best behavior, mm -hmm. except for Ryan. Yep. And we asked them to write questions. They're, so we'll, we'll mm -hmm. see what, we'll see what they want to know. And Ian wrote down a bunch and then he left. And then he left like a putty butt. Yeah. Is, is those his? No, these are my talking okay. points. So is, yeah, is Ian's over there? No, they're right no, here. He put them in front of oh, okay. Oh, okay. I've been using Ian's questions as a coaster. And Dave. So yeah. Um, so a couple of a uh, couple of people have asked, how's Hawk Attack practice going? Mm -hmm. And so as you know, my my band Hawk Attack mm -hmm. that I have been in for almost as long as I've known Chris. Not as long because Chris and I were in a band before that. Right before, yeah. Right immediately you got, before you that. got irritated pretty quick and went out and found another band. That's that's a pretty glib interpretation of what happened. It, it could be what true. What actually happened it's okay. was I didn't want to share you with anybody else in the band. Didn't want to share me? Yes, I wanted you all to myself. I no, so 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 I stopped playing in the Aquasonics and then I met the guys in Hawk Attack. And so we we've been we've been in Hawk Attack for a long time, which is basically like beer commercial rock. Like I always have like said that if if we had a music video, it would just be nothing but like a mag wheel mm -hmm. doing a burnout for two minutes. Yeah. Or however long or a minute and a half. However that, long that, our songs. That are. sort of gets boring. Um <laughs> how about like, you know, like uh, yeah, topless about, volleyball well, punctuated not even topless, by a burnout. Just almost topless. Uh yeah. Topless and the swimming topless. pool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Volleyball, swimming pool. That would be an acceptable yeah. hawk attack. Video. Volleyball in the swimming pool. Yeah. Great. So, but we have, but because of the, um, you know, the, the, the situation with it's difficult to play, we just kind of stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. And um, thanks to our friend, Jim, Jam Jimmy, mm -hmm. who is a football maniac and a fajita monster. Football he makes, maniac. oh yeah. So he's like one of those like yell at the TV kind of football guys. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> And um, so I went over there last night. We had fajitas and and watched the uh, the Michigan and the Iowa football teams. He was doing a college game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But oh, there's a whole man. thing. There's a okay. whole deal yeah. around it. Anyway, so is he here? He might be here. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Um. So anyway, so people have been asking how Hawk Attack practice is going because we haven't done anything for mm -hmm. a couple of years. And you you said that the first one wasn't as productive. First one as... wasn't quite ready for prime time. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But um uh but Hawk Attack is a band that will turn goat piss into gasoline mm-hmm. when when properly applied. Yeah. Well, and maybe maybe that that lack of preparedness might just reveal itself as yeah. exactly what you need. So it we might have be just the edge that you need. We have at least one more practice. We're going to practice this week on Wednesday night. And, and, um, because frankly, I don't remember all the songs, you know, I mean, so, so anyway, but last time we practiced, I'm like, here's what I'm going to do at the, 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 the Hawk Attacks triumphant return at Odyssey Beer Works, mm-hmm. December 10th at the Texas Toast Cridman party. Jim, Jim, Jimmy is going to play all night long mm-hmm. and Hawk Attack is going to open. And after we go on, I'm just going to be like, follow that shit, Jim. So anyway, we'll see. Yeah. Um, you should also spit on the floor. That's classy. I, I, you've seen me do that a bunch of times. I do. I, yeah. I spit a lot and it's cause I get, I get real like dry mouth. So yeah. So it is not unheard of for me to, but okay. You have to remember though, that, that I'm not going to spit on the floor at Odyssey, but most of the clubs that Hawk Attack has played, haven't exactly been like Shay Alay, you know what I mean? You're not it's, the it's, first person to spit on the floor, and I won't be the last. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, there um, you go. Yeah, but I'm very, very excited for for the Cribman party. I'm looking and, forward to that too. And it's it's weird that it's five days away. Yeah, you know, really at this point, it's it's five days. I <laughs> it's, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> you know why? Because it's five it's days. Five days yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. I um. A, I don't know how many songs we're going to play. It might just be like one 20 minute version of Wang Dang Sweet Poon Tang. That's but, what I'm but hoping yeah, for. Yeah, it won't be that. No. Um, yeah, but we better, are going to do a Ted Nugent be song. A, and... a, a Cridman song in there? No? Well, there might be Big Titty Christmas. Well, that's a Cridman like, yeah, song. Yeah, right? totally. A Cridman I mean, you could do, yeah, Big Titty Woman, Big Titty Crid- Cridman. Um, I have a secret for you. Back to back. That's the same song. We just recycled the, the music. I know that's, you already that's know what, that. But yeah. What I mean yeah. is, yeah, it's 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 a it's a short step to <laughs> yeah. third verse. Yeah, Kermit. different from the yeah. first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So, <laughs> how can you not play an anthem like "Take Me to the Liquor Store for Christmas"? It's a beautiful song about a beautiful holiday. It really is. Yeah, and, and a beautiful tradition. And a beautiful tradition. Yeah, on uh-huh. baby Jesus's birthday. <laughs> The last time Ryan was here, he asked me what my favorite holiday. Do you remember that, Ryan? And you said, you said, I don't know how it came up, but you're like, what's your favorite holiday, man? And I said, Christmas, because it's baby Jesus's birthday, you heathens. And yeah. And then Ryan made me a shirt that said, because Jesus and Leo Fender said so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which will come up this week. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you. Yep. So Jim, Jim, Jimmy is here. Good. Okay. Uh, all right. So we talked about Hawk Attack band practice. We talked about uh, Ted Nugent. Um, <laughs> that was a talk about that, that, well, Ted. Nugent. No, it actually says thirty minutes of Wang Dang Sweet Poon Tang. But uh-huh. I wanted to, I wanted to class it up a little bit, and you, you, you wouldn't let me. The you tedge. took that from me. Right. You, you took that. Thanks a lot. You took that from me. It's okay, Chris. I still love you. All right. So, what do you want to talk about now? You want to talk about the Wood Sweat and Beers classes? Sure. So let's talk about what's happening this week, starting tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We've got a shop full of guys who are going to be, we've got a six person class, which is super fun. Mm-hmm. So a couple things I want you to tell about what you think is going to happen. And I want to know what you think we should build. And I'd like to know what you guys think we should build starting tomorrow at the Wood Sweat and Beers Build a Classic Fender class. What we, Matt and Chris. Yes, because build. as you know, we always build a guitar alongside yeah, um, uh-huh. everybody else. So yeah. Yeah. So what was the first part of the question? What do you think we should build? And the oh. second part of the question, sub question, uh-huh. what do you guys watching at home think we should build tomorrow, starting tomorrow at the Wood Sweat and Beers Build a Classic Tele Workshop. Well, I know. No, it's it's Build a Classic Fender. Sorry, workshop. sorry. Build a Classic Fender, yeah. Yeah, which means all Fenders, not just Tellys, Matt. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I know what we're going to build. and Subject to change. What if somebody has a really bitching idea? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So let's. But, why but, don't you but, tell them? Well, so, so in the last 
and it was a build a classic telly class. Mm -hmm. We were going to build uh, the ultimate smugglers telly, oh, which I'm not going right. to say what it is, but it's, it's going to be ultimate. so ultimate and smuggling. And I don't think we can actually have that in the live stream with what's going in the smugglers. Telly. I think we can because it's, no, it, because it's it, there's some things that are not cool to talk about on YouTube and right. live stream. Well, but but maybe just yeah. the opening and maybe our thing made of wood. Oh, OK. Yeah, we you could have the I mean? wooden, yeah. the wooden yeah, replica. Yeah. One. But but anyway. We we forgot to do it, or we got beyond ourselves, and we couldn't do it. Nice pour, and and so so we need to redeem ourselves in this class. So we're going to build yeah. the ultimate smugglers telly. Yep. Okay, and uh, but we had we had a wrinkle happen. BK sent us some really cool stuff. It's right there. He did, and I think yeah. you should show everybody what BK sent well, us. So so our good friend BK uh, sent us some parts, and one of them is a telly plate. With no pickup cut out. And that's from Glendale, which is, is. as yeah. you know, the kind of the high speed, yeah. low drag. Yeah, full time hoochie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's got full cutaway hoochie. shoulders. And this is right up my alley. And it's really neat. Mm -hmm. um, and then he also sent us a pickup mm -hmm. uh, from Seymour Duncan called the Brad Paisley uh, secret agent. How are we going to use it if there's no bridge pickup? There? Well, so, so, and, and here's the deal with this is, is Brad Paisley. And I watched a bunch of videos on this. So you, you even Brad, on a... even Brad and, and Seymour Duncan have a video where they're talking about, Oh, cool. You know, how, how cool Esquires are and, mm -hmm. and how cool they look. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but the problem with them is, is the three show, the, switch, show the thing so that people can one see of the, cause it's from the custom shop. Yeah, it is. Yeah. One of the positions on a, on a, uh, an Esquire is volume or, or, or tone capacitor all the way on. So it just sounds like absolute mud. Okay. And that's traditionally the, what would be the bridge or the, the neck yeah. pickup. And so Brad and, and Seymour came up with this, this pickup that um, looks like this. Can you see that? How do you, is it just like attached to the base of the body? Well, it, it has no holes in it to mount. And it's because it's supposed to mount underneath the pick guard backed by this piece of foam. So it's supposed to sit exactly upright. Up. Do you attach it tight. to the pick guard with like glue? No, okay. no. It just sits right on top of the pick guard. Okay. And it, it gets pushed down by... By the pick guard. Oh, and the, all that. the pick guard squeezes it to the yeah, squeeze okay. it. But but it's it's like the it's the secret agent. You can't see it. Ah. And Brad makes this thing work to great effect. Well, does he have a bridge pickup as well? He does. Okay. Yes. But what would happen if you <laughs> didn't have I, a bridge pickup? I love the idea of that, but you know what else? I love the idea of we've got a stray quarter pounder floating around. Mm -hmm. That I think is the one true and holy pickup yeah. for a tele guitar. Yep. And that bridge doesn't have any saddles. And I don't want to put like import saddles on that. I'd like to put your Glendale saddles on. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. We have some good saddles. But but I, I understand what you're saying. If we're going to do that, we're going to also wire it kind of funky to where there is no middle position. We have a two. Uh, uh, on, no, it'll on. be a, it'll be a three way. But um, it. it what will make the bridge do something unique in that, that middle position. So what do maybe, you guys think of, of the, uh, the Texas toast daily driver that we're going to make with a secret agent humbucker and a secret smuggler route and the, the smuggler route. And yeah. can we, can we do the, we're uh, going to smuggle more than jelly beans in this. Can we do the, uh, <laughs> can we still do the quarter pounder? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have one. We have one. Yeah. So we might as well, you use know one. what else we have? Hmm. A uh, 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 quarter pounder with cheese. No, pearly canes. Uh, oh, that, we, that, that has been floating that around. Yeah, we've yeah. sold twice and it's come back twice. We, we have as, that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, as yeah. a pickup that, yeah, this guitar is really neat. I don't like this pickup. Yeah. Can I get something yeah. else? Yeah. And it's not a pearly gates. It's a little 59. You're right. It's yeah. a little 59. Yeah. yeah, I get, I, yeah, it's all Billy Gibbons shit. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'd like to know what you guys think of what, uh, Someone says duct tape under the pick guard, lefty O, making a thin line. Well, well we don't have time to do that. No, um, no. We could drill yeah. holes in the back so that you couldn't see them yeah. from the front, but we're not going to do that. We're going to we're gonna hog out a whole bunch with the smoke. Crystal Basis says, of course, you have to build a base. 
like like a snake base. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, uh, yeah. So cool. Rod says Marauder. We will not be building a Marauder. No, no. That's a lot of guitar. It's a lot of guitar and a yeah. lot of plates. <laughs> Even if you dumb down that guitar, it would still be, and then it would just be a giant freaking pick guard. Oh, and I don't know, know that you could make a pick guard in one sheet. And but you already know this, but our, we're going to use one of Steve's 24 and three quarter scale necks. I, I know all too well because I glued a finger. No, no, no. There's wrong. one right over there. It's ready to go. Yeah, I know. Okay. I ready also, for action. I also did it wrong. So we're going to do. So I think what we should do is daily driver, mm -hmm. telly style, 24 and three quarter scale neck. Um, yep. Swamp ash. Mm -hmm. uh, quarter pounder in the bridge. Mm -hmm. Secret agent under the under the pick guard. Mm hmm. In the middle position. No, in the regular position. <laughs> yeah, and, let's do that. Let's make it, let's just butt it right up against the bridge. Yeah, now you're yeah, talking. Because yeah. it's a crazy hot pickup, isn't it? It is, because it has to, yeah, because it, it has to go through the pick guard. Go through the pick guard, yeah. And I think up there, it's, it's fairly close to the strings. In the middle, not so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> do you think we should play classic rock Kino this week? Every day. Every day. Two rounds. You see, everyone's for, looking for real money. See, Dave's over there, like, what's it? What's it going to cost every day? Two bucks. Two oh, bucks at per least guy. two bucks. No, if we're going to play two rounds every day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Two bucks a day. So, so let's talk about yeah. let's talk about what classic rock kino is. And okay. if you come to the shop, you'll get to play. Let's go by the rule. Classic the rock rules. kino. Yep. Okay. okay. Why don't you start, and I'll interrupt as I normally do. Yep. So, uh, classic rock kino is based on classic rock radio station mm -hmm. and your knowledge of the classic rock radio station because as or you know there's only knowledge. 50 classic rock songs correct all the bands you liked recorded a very very small number of of of, of tunes according to classic rock radio correct yeah every band recorded two yeah. uh, so 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 we say okay we're going to turn it on what song is going to be on yes yes and everybody and you have to choose Artist, yep, and song, unless unless it's big country, it's big country <laughs> by big country or Corvette by the Corvettes, yeah. Um, and by the way, it's never big country or Corvette, correct? Yeah, uh, or you can also say uh, Crowded House, yeah, because there's only that one, song. Only the one yeah. song, yeah. But but everybody else, you have to you have to define, yeah, song and band. You can't just say Led Zeppelin. No, no, that's because a, that's a sucker bet. Yeah. It is, yeah, yeah. And you have to. Name you don't a song. You don't win as much if you just say you don't win. Tom Petty. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You don't win at yeah, all. You yeah. don't win anything. And yeah. so, yeah, and then and so everybody places their bets. It's a buck. It's a buck. Everybody pitches in a buck, and we turn it on. Yep. And if your song is the song, you win the money. You're the winner. But if it's an ad for like. ED medication, which you know, but which probably is, is. is very yeah. likely that it's going to be, uh -huh. then yeah. you don't win and the house takes the money. Yeah. Can I describe the, the local? Um, yes. Let's take a super listener? chat real fast okay. though. Oh, All right. Okay. So hold on. So we have a super chat from Doug Santaniello. He says, I pick pretty Mary Jane. Mary, the last dance by Mary Jane by Tom Petty. Yep. I, I guess okay. so. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. All right. Yeah. All right, so uh, mm -hmm. already, so so go ahead. Yeah, describe so, describe so, the average listener. So in uh, Colorado, uh, you need to refi or sell your house. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes. Rates doing that. I've never been lower, and they're going to go up. This guy can get you every penny for your house. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it's because he's just a super cool dude, right? He's not making any money off this deal. Yeah, yeah, no, the 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 guy selling the houses definitely not making any money. Um, you you are losing your hair. You have lost your hair. You need yeah. your hair back. You need your hair back. Uh, you you have uh, some sort of erectile dysfunction. We can unclog those pipes with new technology. We're still talking about erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they're talking about now. Is is uh, you know yeah those those pills and all that. That's that we we have real real science real science to yeah. yeah and it's it sounds like a roto rooter to me yeah um what else uh. Uh, you're going through a divorce, yeah, and you need, yeah, and and I'm thinking those last two might eh, might have something to do with each other. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that third mm -hmm. one, maybe you know, I'm losing my hair. Oh, I yeah. can't, I can't get it done. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, uh, car insurance. 
And oh, and also uh, you're probably behind on your uh, taxes. Yes. Yeah, those yes. are. <laughs> yeah. So what a what a sad sack. So yeah, bunch so the, of dudes the average that are listening to classic rock the radio. Average Denver. classic rock listener in Colorado. Now you need to know that Chris and I rarely listen to the radio. We listen to a lot of CDs here. But the yeah. average classic rock radio listener doesn't have any money, and their junk doesn't work. <laughs> and they're bald. And they're or bald. Bowling. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And they're concerned about it. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let's. Uh, so yeah, classic rock kino. I love the idea. Yeah. Only one person has actually won mm -hmm. at classic rock kino, mm -hmm. and you're looking at it. One time. Now mm -hmm. it was it was last dance with Mary Jane. Too, it was it? last yeah. dance. That's why Doug yeah. said that, I think. And mm -hmm. um, and I was I it, I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was surprised because we like turned on the and usually it's like, yeah, it's an ad for as, something. As as much as you think you know the station yep. and you think, man, they play Crazy Train like four times a day. Yeah. And I never <laughs> say that song, but yeah. Um yeah, you, you it's rarely that we get a winner and there's lots of good guesses and and it's not like people are going yeah queens uh you know i would love to be able to do classic rock kino like that's just what you and i do every day we just do live <laughs> live feeds live YouTube. and you like send us a buck on super chat and you can get in and mm -hmm. if you win we'll send you you know 97 cents of every dollar that was that was put in yeah at that at that point i think we could actually maybe figure out a way to do that but that i think rad. that we would be gambling on youtube which probably isn't allowed mm -hmm. and we would be using a bunch of of you know classic rock material that, that we could probably figure a way around that we but. could we could have a, a live in-house band that's playing along <laughs> you will still get dinged for that though, yeah as you bit, know yeah. okay all right so yeah. that's classic rock kino mm-hmm Here's what I want you guys to remember about classic rock kino. You can't lose them all, so you might as well try. Pitch in that buck. Yeah, it's only a buck. It's only a buck. Yeah, have yeah. a good time. Yeah, have a little fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two bucks a day. What's the matter with you? You think? You, yeah, you think you know? You think you know? Yeah. The, the double down. You could. Double down. <laughs> you could totally double yeah, down. You don't get yeah. anything extra. <laughs> no, but, but you could still do you it. Win your your extra dollar back. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, all right isn't it you know there's so much abundance in the world don't just limit yourself to being happy by random chance that's exactly you right. can't win it if you're not in it that's exactly wait right. i'm actually saying the exact opposite of you can't you can't win it if you're not in it no you i'm not because in it because, if you're not winning because it. i said i said don't don't only allow yourself to be happy by random chance mm -hmm. and then but I, we were actually exactly talking about random chance games of chance all right disregard yeah. all right yeah so uh do you want to take some uh some some in-house visitor questions chris yeah let's take some in-house visitor questions all right here we go you ready i'm ready I'm if you are sir there's only two did ryan do you not have no, there's any? three. Oh, okay all right. all right they're totally mixed up it's just like the uh shell game only i don't know oh, which is which jim jim jimmy says so leslie says probably. talk 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 by talk talk and i think it's talk talk by talk talk yeah and, that's, you know that yeah we love leslie but leslie that's a sucker bet you will never just you might as well just give me the buck yep and not yeah yep yeah. yep okay here we go and i can totally not tell who wrote this question all right we have no idea you're gonna just one at a time how are you gonna do it all right. yep uh what's your favorite chintzy 60s japanese guitar mine chintzy that's the key word. Yes. I don't think that's I have a favorite have. Shinsi Japanese yeah, guitar. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll answer. All right. uh, if if we're talking 60s Japanese guitar, my favorite is the Yamaha SG series. But that's not Shinsi. But it's it? not Shinsi. If I was going to pick a Shinsi one, I would say the Tisco Spectrum series. Okay. Uh, oh, and or the uh, um, the the Gaia Tone. I'm uh, completely unfamiliar yeah, with yeah. Shinsi. 60s mm -hmm. Japanese musical instruments. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's move on. See if I see if I have an answer for this. Who's the best wrestler of all time, and why is it Macho Man Randy Savage? <laughs> oh yeah. Let me tell you something, brother. Here's why I'm the Macho Man. Everything in general, and one thing in particular. I I do love. Macho Man. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I, I, why is it Macho Man? Because everything in general and one thing in particular. Do you, do you, yeah. would you, do you, do you, do you disagree? Um, is he my favorite wrestler? Uh, no, is he the greatest wrestler of all time? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Who do you think yeah. will win in a wrestling match between uh, Macho Man and, like, say, The Rock? Stone Cold Steve Austin no, and no, uh, Macho, Macho Man. Man. Macho Man every time. <laughs> because his entrance music is, is – is... I mean, Ricky Steamboat might beat him every once in a while, but now when there's money on the table. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> That's I a was great gonna say, question. I was going to say uh, Chuck Thunder, even though he's never once wrestled. Yeah, that's right. Chuck Thunder just has a wrestling persona. He doesn't Correct. actually he is, he is wrestle. Completely unaware of, of wrestling. <laughs> there is a thing called wrestling. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, how far along is the Philip McKnight challenger? Uh, that's a great question. The neck is almost ready to glue into the body. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, um, it's exactly the same. So someone was like, you know, when you remake it, you shouldn't put his name. Like, I don't know what people have, what the problem is with having your name on the front. I, I think, yeah, it's, it's a resale thing. They, you know, what would I, would I want why to would sell you, it? Why would you buy a rad guitar like a challenger and then sell it? And then, yeah, with, with the idea that I'll be able to sell this someday. Hey, by the way, I'll want to sell this. I'll want, to I'll sell want this. to, I'll be willing to let it go. Correct. By the way, after we did that challenger video on Thursday, on Friday, Everybody loves the challenges. Yep. So many of you guys have sent me so many nice things about how 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 excellent those look. And I I I'm I'm actually a little bit I'm a little bit verklempt by the by the love for the challenger. Um now a couple of people have have asked about the TV yellow, and a lot of people have asked about the sunburst, the standard model. They are really, really cool. And I'm I'm glad that you guys think they're awesome because I think they're awesome too. And I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to make moves with the challenger. Cool. So yeah. What do you think? Did, have you gotten you've gotten some emails, haven't you? No. Yeah, yeah, I've gotten a bunch of emails. <laughs> no, no one's gonna know if you have or have. You're right, you're right. And uh yeah, a couple of them were this like this fucking guy. Yeah, we're like, um, you know, I'll be honest, these are the best guitars I've ever seen. I literally pooped my pants. Yeah, I did. when I saw twice. <laughs> Two times. Two times. Yeah. The first one I thought was an accident. It wasn't. And then <laughs> second one, no, no doubt about they it. They are absolutely pants poopingly mm -hmm. good. Yep. Yep. That's that's what I heard. Yep. <laughs> Why would you say no? I yep. haven't got I mean, like, no one's gonna all right, all right, all right. We're gonna work on your <laughs> we're gonna work on your ability your, to vamp your, your, yeah. your ability to lie. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right so uh this, first of all, Ian, anybody that writes all in caps is a psycho. <laughs> I write in all caps, you turkey. There you go. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. You're either a psycho <laughs> or an architect. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Matt. Yes, sir. How's that building coming along? <laughs> well, well, I don't know. Whatever you do, you mean. So. <laughs> I rest my case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Brady wrote in all caps. Uh -huh. Look where that got him. Yeah, six kids in a weird ass house with two bedrooms and that six is kids. completely different on the and inside than it one is on bathroom? the bathroom. Did they have one bathroom? <laughs> one for, bathroom for six kids. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. He and Carol's room was like a palatial estate. That's right. It's the Taj like, Mahal. Yeah, of yeah. Southern California. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Alice's Alice had her own room and her own bathroom and her own potty. Yeah, six kids. One bathroom. Yep. Yep. And yep. hilarity and seats. Yep. And that brings me to my story. All right. As you know, I am a fan of uh, classic TV. I do indeed. And I, I watched it. Uh, it was a twofer. Mm -hmm. A double shot. Double double of uh, my one of my new favorite shows, The Rifleman. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck Connors. Connors. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, yesterday's. Well, let me guess. Did The Rifleman like shoot a bunch of guys? Well, let's let's get to it. Was it the Christmas episode? It was the Christmas episode. <laughs> Is it, was, it was it really? No, it was. But okay. it was it was a double, and uh, yeah. So he was going out and looking for it's his. A, it's uh, a mer It's a very the, merry rifleman let's, Christmas. Let's say it was. Yeah, okay. and he was going out. Uh, his his friend Micah, the town sheriff, had gone looking for some uh, bad guys, and sure. uh, at one point, his son Johnny Crawford said, uh, "Hey, Pa, are we in New Mexico?" New Mexico or old Mexico. Okay. And Chuck Connor said, 
we're in old Mexico, son. <laughs> and and you knew things were going to get serious right sure. then and there. Yeah, yeah. because old they, Mexico, don't, they don't they yeah. don't play around. Yeah. In yeah. So old they Mexico. get to this town and you tell the town was abandoned because the, the, the street was just full of tumbleweeds. By the way, that looks an awful lot like northern New Mexico, too. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, it looked, it looked a lot like... Uh, like uh, Sunny Raton? Yeah, Raton. Yeah, okay. yeah, it really did. Um, but uh, they get to town, and there's this uh, this beautiful this beautiful woman, and she's standing there. Oh, and, Chris, and, also, they like to be called senoritas. Uh, well, this one, yeah, okay. All right. All right. And uh, she's standing there, and, and Chuck's like... Hmm. Hmm. And, and all of a sudden they're surrounded by Mexican banditos, banditos. and, and, uh, the girl disappears. Okay. And, uh, and, and, and Chuck starts asking about, uh, their friend Micah and, and he, he hands over his rifle, which Ooh. as you know, as a rifleman, yeah, bad call. You don't, you don't do that. No, that's a bad call. And, uh, but unless, and unless so, you have a few other tricks up your sleeve, this guy, he looks a lot like Tuco. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And, uh, he's got really bad teeth and, and, uh, and he's, 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 uh, you know, a bad guy. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and he asks about their friend, Mike, and he's like, Oh, I, I will she, take you to your friend. Da, da, uh -huh. da. Oh, by the way, my, my wife, she is going to give birth to my baby soon. And it turns out that the, the beautiful woman is his, uh, his wife. And she's it's like so pregnant. She's fixing to drop at any time. Sure. Okay. Yeah, stick with the story. And, and I'm trying to suspend so they, disbelief. So they, so they, generally so they, speaking, this is a women who are like man. eight months plus pregnant look like they're with child. So yes. Yeah. Well, that they didn't show that. They just showed her from here up. Mm. Or from here up. And uh, yeah. And uh, so that so they 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 find out that their friend Micah has been buried up to his neck uh, in sand. And and Not the guy's cool, like, man. okay, now you you my friend. And 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 I'm gonna make this story shorter than it should be. <laughs> well, we're all waiting for that. But by the end, he kills all the banditos. <laughs> okay, yeah. Saves Micah and marries the the pregnant. Delivers lady. the baby. Oh, it is a true Christmas miracle. It was a Christmas miracle. Yep. And Chuck <laughs> On the and, rifleman. And, yeah, Micah and Johnny Crawford and the rifleman were all okay in the end. That's good. It was Take touch and go there for a little Andy while. Andy Griffith. Yeah. 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 All right. That's my story. Hope everybody enjoyed it. You think anyone's going to bring donuts this week? Maybe. God, I hope not. I'm really trying to not eat stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm just putting it out there. Yeah. No donuts. Hey, um, all right. I'm going to cross off the thing that says Chris's story here. Hey, uh, Lots of people have been sending toys for our toy drive. Yes. And that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so as you know, our our toy drive. Try not to send toys. Chris has to assemble. <laughs> Ryan. No, so Ryan Ryan gave something really sweet today. Yeah, it's really cool. And, and just because, you know, like after the 10th, we'll still take toys. Because I want to do toys every, every time. Mm -hmm. It's part of the thing. You know, if you want to bring a toy for our toy drive, then, then we absolutely want to have that. So, um, yeah, but, but the, if you guys want to send toys in, um, send me an email and I'll give you the address where you can send it and you can just do Amazon and, and it was like drop ship it. And I want to have a great big mound of, of, of neat stuff for kids at the, uh, Cribman party. So, yeah. And if you want to come to the Cribman party and bring toys too, that's, that'd be fun too. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. More questions. Uh, yeah, we could do more questions. Oh, but I also want to talk about, you know, so the, the Wood, Sweat, and Beers workshop that we're having this week is the last one of this year. Starting January 1, prices will be going up. If you want to get in on 2021 pricing, you still have, what day is it? The, you still have like 25 days, right? Yeah, you have 26, you have 26 days to get. What are you? I'm I'm looking at. Oh, questions. okay. Sorry. You have 26 days to take advantage of 2021 prices, and classes are filling up fast. Our friend Dean, who you know is Dale Dweezel, like is signed up for a class today. So yeah, I'm I'm I love doing these workshops. I think they're so much fun. Yeah, they are. And I don't even care if it's one where Ryan is here because whatever you say, I think Ryan is a cool guy. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah, take advantage of 2021 pricing in the next 20 whatever days. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Not you, Ryan. Especially you, Ryan. Okay. All right. I'm already signed up for May. Guys. He's already signed up for May. Are you doing build a classic telly and or build a classic yeah, something pickup. and pickup winding? That's awesome. Okay, cool. That's really cool. Oh, did you know we have our very first overseas student coming to one of those or to two of those classes? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, right. I didn't uh -huh. I didn't know that. Well, is it uh-huh? Uh -huh. I, I'd uh -huh. heard that that might be a thing. I didn't know it was official. Is he or she English? They are coming from the United Kingdom. Correct. Yes. Awesome. Yes. I also saw a picture of someone at a Crimson Guitars class in a Texas Toast t-shirt. Somebody sent me a picture. That, that was really cool. I saw the whole video. Oh, there's a whole awesome. video? Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yep. That's cool. Yep. I like and that. And Ben was there and... Oh, was he? Yep. Doug Cook sent me a, a thing or sent a thing to the uh, the Facebook page. Um, and he's like, somebody asked me at a guitar show, hey, didn't I see you in a Texas Toast video? <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Right? And he said, no. No, no. Yeah. Doug, Doug's the man. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right. And he's building like a mother trucker. Hey, the spots open in the Wadrow pickup classes? Tell you, buddy. You best believe. Okay. We'll talk about it. I'll, yeah. uh, now that I know Now that I know that you're mildly intrigued, I'll be like, mm-hmm. I'll push you hard. Yeah. Yeah. I'll push yep. it, baby. Yep. All right. All right. What do you got? All right. You ready? I'm ready. What was the first body shape where you just had to put in the time effort to learn to make guitars? That's a great question. And I know what mine was. Do you know what yours was? Um, yeah. Yeah. I had a bunch of guys ask me to build them replicas of a Les Paul, mm -hmm. like so that you couldn't tell. Okay. And I built a bunch of guitars that were, were basically counterfeit instruments. One of the best ones that I ever did was a Rick 4001 for Gen D. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, but the Les Paul was, there was there because it's a tricky, the, the, the Rick 4001 was tricky because it's neck through and, mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of different things, but, and, and, and all the, all the hardware is so non-standard that you, you got to use the Rick and Buffer stuff. But the Les Paul is carved and, and like it has a bunch of facets on the face and it's bound and there's a top and, and it was sort of like, it was sort of like learning to play, like I'm going to listen to this record and I'm going to learn how to play every song note for note, which as you guys know, if you've ever watched me play guitar, you know, I've never done that. But, but when it comes to building guitars, I, I've spent a lot of time learning to build other people's stuff. And wasn't, it, it was, it was a good experience and it kind of taught me like, well, maybe there's a manufacturing reason that they did this, but I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, and I want to come back to that, but the Les Paul was, was the one that, that, that I, um, for me was like, it taught me a lot of things and it took me down a lot of weird paths that I kind of acquiesced away from, but, but Les Paul was, was the, that guitar for me. Okay. The carved top Les Paul. Speaking of, of something cool where there's manufacturing processes in place. I talked to Steve from Maximum Guitars. He came over at eight 30 on Saturday and he actually called me cause I wasn't here. And he's like, hey, are you here? I'm like, well, no, I'm not there. It's 8.30. Oh, well, I, I, I told you I was going to be here. I'm like, oh, crap. So I jumped in the car and drove over. Um, so thank you, Steve, for, for hanging out. Steve has a new SG template set. Mm -hmm. Now, I know what you're thinking. So what? He also has an oversized, undersized template that works with a specific pattern cutting bit to put the bevel on exactly perfect every time. <laughs> So yeah, so it's oversized, undersized. Yep. Yeah, and it, it fades and yep. yeah, yep. yeah, yep. How about mm -hmm. that? Smart ass. Yep. Yeah. He's he was he was he was like um, yeah. I uh, I've been looking for like you know documentation on how they did it back in the day, and it's surprising how hard it is to find that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's like a pretty tight lip kind of industry secret. So mm -hmm. yeah, but he figured it out, and he has he's yeah. having so he's having he's making a bunch of custom templates. I think those are on the website right now. Steve at Maximum Guitars, link in the description below. And he's going to have the bits too. <laughs> yeah, because they're not run of the mill. They're not 40. No, they're not kooky. They're like yeah. 120 degrees. They're like yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They're not 100. So I'm, I'm like, <laughs> he's, and he's going to make it to work with a 30. regular router. Yeah. Um. So like, I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm betting you, I'm betting you they had a shaper jig that he did. He's like, yeah, I bet you they did, but not everybody has a shaper. Mm -hmm. So I'll just buy a shaper cutter from Steve. Yeah. Or just go, Steve, will you sell me a shaper one too? And mm -hmm. Steve will go, oh, 
as long as you don't spill spaghetti sauce on your shirt, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, so how about that? Maximum yep. guitars. They support us. Support them. Okay. Oh, sorry. 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 Well, know? yeah. I want. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to know yours. So my, I think, uh, really, a bunch of years ago, four or five years ago, Matt and I decided that we were going to make three jazz masters and oh, yeah. and that was the first guitar that that it's i've been more made. than four or five years ago uh no it, it's been let's say five six it's six um but anyway it that was the first that was the first time that i thought i really want to make all these guitars from from the ground up yeah yeah me and and matt yeah because Bros. because we're yeah we're yeah. bffs yeah yeah will you hand me one of those one of mm -hmm. those uh yep <clears throat> Ah, the All right, so so as a follow-up, tell us about your first guitar building project. How old were you? What were your biggest challenges? Do you still own the guitar? Can I start? Yes. So I was uh, eight years old, and I decided I wanted to build a guitar. And uh, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I, I used uh, – but but I knew the neck was the most important part. Sure. So I got a, a, a one-by-two. Makes and sense I, to me. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I glued some toothpicks on the on the board as, as – uh, as frets. Now, interesting historic and that was fact as far as I got. Frets. Did you know that frets used to be like twine mm -hmm. tied around I've, the neck I've and you would move them around? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 I've read about that. Yeah. And these might as well have been twine. They were tooth. They weren't even round toothpicks. They were. <laughs> you see, you made a fretless flat, wonder. No, well, I made, yeah, they were those flat tapered. Yeah. And I, I just sort of marked them out. I went, I went, yeah, looks, that looks about yeah. right. Didn't, I don't even remember counting. Sure. Yeah, and that was as far as I got with That's my about right because I had an acoustic guitar that I got and trade for a dog. You know that story <laughs> makes sense to me. Yeah. Well, yeah why uh, would Why wouldn't you trade for it? We came out on the better end of that deal. I got I got an aluminum baseball bat. I got a chemistry set. Didn't I got, the baseball uh, bat have a dent in it though? It did. It was dead. <laughs> it was broken. Um, I got a uh, spirograph with most of the good uh, cogs wrecked, <laughs> missing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I got. <laughs> This I must got, have been a really lousy set animal. with all the all the good chemicals missing, yeah, all, all the, the nitroglycerin that, yeah, and all yeah, the, all, all the gone. Make things smoke. Those were all gone. Gone. And uh, yeah, I think that was it. Oh, and I got a skateboard, and we still got the better end of the deal because that dog was a turd. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, well. Yeah. Uh, so my first guitar building project was actually I was I was a I was about to go. I knew I was going to go to Roberto Van, but that was my second guitar building project. So I was in high school and I thought I'm going to build a guitar in. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to transfer from some class to Mr. Moore's shop class mm -hmm. and um, and build a guitar. And that was a complete disaster. And I didn't know what I was doing. And no, I don't own the guitar. But my second guitar uh -huh. um, that I built, I still own. And it's it's not on the wall. Um, and I built it at Roberto Venn. And the, the third guitar that I built, I also built at Roberto Venn, was an acoustic guitar. And I gave it to my friend, Whitney McCray, who um, I think still has it. Yeah, because her guitar got stolen. So I gave her mine. So, yeah. And she's a dear, dear friend of mine from, from way back in the day. I, don't, I, I talked to her on Facebook and, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Like, it's like, hey, happy birthday. You know, mm -hmm. just this dumb stuff. So, yeah. Have you ever seen a guitar? Um for sale after you sold it and wanted it back that we made or that we either way. Yeah. Yeah. There's been some times what I, what I've wanted stuff back and, and but these days I don't, these days I'm all about, you know, moving, moving forward, mm -hmm. moving yeah. in a direction that is in front of me rather than moving in a direction that is in back. Of me. Mm -hmm. And it's really been working out. Excellent. So yeah, so I think that that's that's a that's a good that's a good life lesson yep. for me is look out the windshield, not in the rearview mirror. How about that? Yeah, I think so too. There's been a couple that I've seen, and I, I've actually chased a couple of them. Oh yeah, and then went. I sold it once. I don't need to buy it back. All right, uh, and and for the, I think that covers that third question. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Will you sell me the Philip McKnight's first challenger? No. For five hundred dollars no. and a case of beer. No. Well, no. So that second no. part. Uh, you know, because I have a crush. How about eight hundred? No. No. No, the Philip McKnight thing is not for sale. So no, it's not for sale. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, it's it's not up to our standards, and we don't want that guitar floating around. Yeah. Plus, why would somebody else want a guitar that says Phil McKnight on it? Come on. Maybe they changed their name. I don't know. Yeah, you could. Yeah. In, if you change your name legally to Phil McKnight, I might consider it. Ah. I'll still say no, but. Yeah. What if yeah. what if you legally changed your name yeah, to Philip Ryan. McKnight? Yeah. And gave us the beer and the and money. The beer and the money. Yeah. Then maybe. Then maybe. Then maybe we got something. Yep. 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 All right. All right. These are these are some good questions right here. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready when you right. are. Are you guys ready? You guys having fun? I'm having a what good What is time. your favorite sandwich sauce? And why is it brown mustard? I, it's not brown mustard. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't put a lot of sauce on a sandwich. Right. I mean, but, but it probably like is condiment. mustard, though. I, my favorite is usually mustard. Yeah. If I have to add mm. something to, to a sandwich, it's mustard. It's never going to be mayonnaise for me. I'm not, no. I'm not into mayonnaise or I like Miracle it, I like, Whip. I like it's thin, very, very, almost like, like butter. And actually, butter would be the same. Sure, sure. Just, just something to wet the bread if it's a very dry uh -huh. sandwich. Uh -huh. But other than that, yeah, not. Not anything. I made a really good sandwich today. Now wait a minute. Is that a hamburger is a sandwich, and I want to have mustard on that every time. Mm -hmm. You know what I don't want on my hamburger? Ketchup or mayonnaise. In fact, ketchup and mayonnaise belong on nothing. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, All Jim. Right. Now, now Jim will will get me to acquiesce on this because he uses that Japanese mayo and puts it on stuff, and it's mm -hmm. really good. Um, but uh, ketchup, I. I, I'll I'll begrudgingly put ketchup in a blob mm -hmm. to eat with fries mm -hmm. if there's not enough salt on the fries. Okay. And then I'll like heavily, heavily salt the ketchup as yeah. just, it's so really it's just a way to stick salt to fries. <laughs> but I don't yeah, right. I, so I don't yeah, so it's like, never gonna be ketchup. I like ketchup to be my idea, not somebody else's. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I'll yeah. I'll put it if, if I'm in the mood, I'll dip. Yeah. But I don't want it to be doused in ketchup. What do you think about Tabasco sauce? Uh same deal. Yeah, I what about like see, I don't even like the original Tabasco. Yeah, it's I like, too vinegary or something. I like that one on pizza a lot. Okay. Yeah, and, and I like it on spicy pizza. Like if I get a jalapeno oh, pizza yeah. and then I put a little bit of that on it. I like the Chipotle Tabasco a lot. Do you? That's my favorite. The green one's okay. I you still like the green one for breakfast stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but but now, not so much. First okay. time I had it, I was like, oh, man, this is the best. Yeah, well, because it's better than the original as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all so different. And then they came out with the smoky Chipotle, and it's the best. So, yeah. Okay. Well, we, we can disagree. Sure. Yep. <sighs> uh, will Disney have a Paul Solo show? <laughs> Monkey was just here today, and we were talking about when we were in California for the NAMM show several years ago. And we came up with this whole routine of like stuff. And, 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 and one of them was he, we, we, we convinced him to put on the most phony baloney New York accent and go into this shop that sold, um, um, not legitimate, uh, uh, Star Wars merchandise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And and uh, and ask for, um, hey, you got any uh, Paul Solo uh, action figures? Yeah. What about Bobby Fett? You got him? And, yeah, yeah, Paul Solo. Paul Solo. I want a Doc Invader action yeah. figure and uh, and a Luke Sky jacket. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got any Bobby Fets? Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. and then so, so of course he did because he he was drunk and is wildly wildly fun. And, and yeah, and and all three of us walked in that store. He walked up to the counter. Oh, we were and you and racking up. <laughs> walked to the back, and we're just like crying. <laughs> it's so funny. And and he's talking to the lady, and she's hundred percent serious. And he's, <laughs> he's trying to be serious, and he's like, "Oh yeah, these are real nice. Yeah, you got any, you know, Paul Solo stickers?" <laughs> and she's like, "You mean you mean uh, Han Solo? Oh yeah, 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 I got, yeah, I, I got confused yeah. for a minute. Yeah, Han's Solo. Yeah, yeah. and oh, and they had they had a their claim to fame was you could buy a stormtrooper 
uh, decorated in any football team that you wanted. Hey, wouldn't it be cool to get a Star Wars guy with a football shirt on it? Yeah, yeah. Maybe your favorite team is the uh, New York Football Giants. Sure, have a good maybe time. If you like the uh, Denver Broncos, maybe you want your name on a on a Seattle Seahawks. Sure. Yeah, whatever. You could put whatever number you want. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, sixty nine. <laughs> you could put an exclamation point. Yeah, on there. yeah. You could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your name is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yoda. You're your mom. You, you can know. make up your own guy. Yeah, you think? Yeah, you think PC three O's a guy? Somebody yeah, had to make yeah, him up. Paul Paul Solo's a guy. Somebody made that yeah, guy. Yeah, somebody up. had to make that guy up. Yeah, and and so we walk in there. Hey, let and, me ask you. And these, you like football? Yeah. You like Star Wars? Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool to have a Star Wars guy name on a football shirt? Yeah. Yeah. And and we walk in there and we're expecting like like at least five foot tall stormtroopers. Yeah, full size, know, full life size. Because yeah. these things look life size in the ad. Though it was showing. in the galaxy far, far away, it could have been. Real <laughs> Everybody size. could have been. Everyone yeah, could have been could twelve have been. inches tall. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, know. yeah, it would have made it a lot easier. And uh, and 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 the figures are like this tall, and they they got a bunch of stormtroopers, and they're all painted up like you know, like football guys, Green Bay Packers, yeah. and stuff like that. But they're 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 tiny. Yeah, they were like, cool. No, this is lame. It was, yeah. And, and Not only was it disingenuous, it was lame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Ian's in there asking for, you know, Paul Solo, and Bobby PC3O, yeah. yeah, Bobby Fett. Fett. Yeah, Bobby Yeah, stuff. <laughs> and I don't know if the lady ever caught on. No, I should probably knew. Because we were, yeah, we were, we were hammered. <laughs> well, <laughs> Matt and I are in the back going. <clears throat> and, yeah. <laughs> But that was a that was that was on Disneyland. That yeah, so that makes it even funnier that it's yeah this sort of like yeah so not yeah, quite yeah. cool yeah yeah. So anyway, is that it? Minutes. Oh, uh, what is the craziest finish request you've gotten? Ooh, like so like yeah the craziest one that we've ever gotten that we had to do. I I don't think we've had anything that's particularly nutty. No, I I can remember one that we didn't do. Okay, um, there was a lot of carbon fiber involved. The uh, Dylan's, yeah. No, it was a different one. Uh, there was carbon fiber oh, fingerboard. Yeah, that, that was one. A, a, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It was that one. And we ended up giving the guy's money back. We did. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he was, was he was mostly cool about it, and so I appreciate that from that guy. Yeah, but it was yeah, it was it was way too much. It was, yeah, basically carbon fiber topping fingerboards mm -hmm. and all sorts of crazy shit. So yeah, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what wood would you consider hippie wood? Um carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is absolutely hippie wood. I would consider anything that is not <clears throat> mahogany, maple, rosewood, alder, ash, ebony. Poplar, basswood, basswood. <clears throat> any of the things that you can you can easily find a guitar built from, mm -hmm. I would not consider hippie wood. Okay. And just because I don't like hippie wood doesn't mean that you guys shouldn't like it. You it used know? to be all about the hippie wood. <clears throat> I did, yeah, yeah. Zebra wood and and Babinga and Yojembe and and I I even oh, I, is, I, e yeah. I even think as much as I love white limba and black limba, it's hippie wood. Because you just can't get and I, I made a video where I'm like, beware the dangers of hippie wood. And the reason that I the, the reason that I lump white limba and black limba into that group is it's not easy to find in the quantities that it's easy to find typical guitar woods in. You know, so um, <clears throat> yeah. So I would say, I would say, and it's not that's not standard standard material. Okay. You know, so uh, yeah. cherry. Ch yeah, I mean, cherry is not a hippie wood when it comes to furniture building, right? But it's kind of a hippie wood. Can, okay, can you imagine somebody in the Grateful Dead playing a cherry guitar? Sure. There you go. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. What is that? Cherry. Cherry. Hippie. Hippie. <laughs> yeah. You dirty. Shut hippie. up, hippie. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, you dirty hippie. And I love a lot of the hippie stuff. Mm -hmm. I still, I still do to this yeah. day. But I don't want to make guitars with it because it, it, it restricts the audience quite a yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty, and it's, it's neat to look at. But 
people start having weird ideas about about that stuff. Yeah. Well, I, I man, um, I think burl um, walnut looks really cool on the natural thoughts. They do, they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that's going to sound. Here's the thing. Flake is the new hippie wood. And that was something that we've said for a long long time. Yeah. I think metal flake is is cooler than hippie wood generally speaking. I thought you were talking about flake and maple. Oh, flake or I call it fleck. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Fleck is the new flame. Yeah. And and flake is the new is the new quilt maple. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, flame maple is, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, metal flake paint is always going to be cool and it won't make you sound any better, but chicks dig it. Yep. And yep. let's face it. Mm-hmm. That's the whole reason that we play guitars. It really is. Yep. Yeah. It's for the CDI. Yep. Hey, so let's thank all of our sponsors because yeah, we have kind of lost track of time. Mm-hmm. Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. Guys, if you're ever in the Denver area and you want to check out Flipside Music, you guys here, I'm talking to you too. You can check out the Legacy Store for a little bit longer. And um, next time you come out, they will probably be in their new Finish space. Finish up the show, man. They will probably be in the new space. And uh, Chris has to go to number one. Um, if you can't, if you're not in the Denver area and you still want to check them out and you want to support them because they support us, Flipside Music's website is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And every single thing in the store is online and available and ready to go, which is awesome. Um, it is now the fifth, which means that if you've ordered from my good friends, John and Cheryl from Bitterroot Guitars, you will actually get your order ASAFP because they're back from vacation. And, um, uh, I can't tell you yet what their new super cool truss rod thing that they have going on is. So Spike, if you're watching, um, stop asking me because I can't say, but, um, I mean, I'll say this, you might be close. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, so Bitterroot Guitars, the, the, John and Cheryl are super, super cool people. And, and I love them dearly, uh, help them out because they help us out. I'd also like to thank Dan and Calvin from gu- guitar, ha, 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 from Tonewood Experts, formerly Guitar Wood Experts. All of the woods that we're going to be using, uh, this week in the Wood, Sweat and Beers workshop come from Dan and Calvin at Tonewood Experts. Same, uh, uh, new name. Same great taste and um, super, super cool guys. I hope that we see Dan again very soon. It is not unheard of for him to swing by uh, uh, the shop when he's kind of drifting around and and kind of doing his thing. Um, Speaking of people who drift around and do their thing, Dylan and Leslie McCurchy uh, travel all over the United States, uh, kind of preaching the gospel of winding pickups and showing people how to do it. They're going to be here next May. And uh, Dave, yes, there are spots available for that class. Um, I'm sorry for that workshop. And, um, you guys could, uh, could, could check that out too. I think there's only one week that, uh, that, that is still has spots open and Dylan is going to be here for the entire month of May. It's going to be really fun, super exciting. And, um, Chris is back. Did you wash your hands? Yes. And, um, no, did get away from me. Um, I believe you. And, uh, yeah, so Dylan McCurchy and, uh, Dylan, so Dylan pickups, Dylan talks tone, and they have another one that's like RV life or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, check out their website. You guys know who Dylan is. Um, we get stuff all the time of people like going onto the Dylan website link in our description below. And um, they buy pickups and, you know, we make uh, we make a little bit of money. It's 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 actually it's it's a pretty good deal. Works works really well for us. So thank you to uh, to everyone who buys pickups from Dylan and uses the link in our description below. Um. Let's see, Chris and Dina from Odyssey Beer Works. I cannot tell you how excited I am to go to that Christmas party. And it's hard to believe. We talked about it before. <laughs> People are like, you have your own beer? Yeah. yeah we so, so my friend Matt Wheatley came by and he's like, well, is it just some other beer that they make and you just put a different can on it? I'm like, no, it's no. not. It's a whole cool custom thing. I'm so excited for so many reasons to go to that event. And I think if you guys were there, you would be excited. Well, it's going to be it's going to be pretty much all our friends. Yes, all our friends locally. Yeah, a bunch of friends not locally. That's right. A bunch of new friends. Yeah, and it's going to be yeah, it's going to be rad. It's going to be music. It's going to be beer. Two of my favorite things. I am it's going to be I, friends. I, three of my favorite. Things. I am I am really really excited for for yeah, all of the good yeah. stuff that's going to happen. It's been a thing for so long, and now it's it's here. 
It's a week away. It's less to, than a week. Yeah, we have yeah. To, and 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 because the week is so busy. Yeah. Next next thing I know, it'll be here, and then it'll yeah. be gone. And then it'll be and gone. I'll be like waiting until the next year. But Chris, I want you to I want you to do something. Okay, I want you to live in the moment, enjoy the thing, and not like go. I, I, I it's gonna be over so soon. Just yeah, bring in the love, push out the jive. Okay. All right. I'll try. Okay. Is I'll there any? Are that. there any other sponsors that we need to thank? Did I miss anybody? I don't know. I couldn't hear you from the bathroom. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. I I think we got everybody. Um, we got. Uh, I flipped that music. We already talked about Steve from Maximum Guitar, so that uh -huh. well, that already counts. But yep. Yeah. Um, guys, if you, and, uh, where we did. But hold on. I want. Yeah. I want to back up, guys. If you want to sign up for the um. Great American Guitar Building Challenge. Steve at Maximum Guitars will uh, give you a code to use to you to uh, to buy templates, and he'll give you a hundred bucks off. So it's almost like getting a free entry. Mm -hmm. If you sign up for one of the classes, the Wood Sweat and Beers workshops that we do, you'll also get a code from Steve. I'm going to write it on the board for tomorrow. I've got so much stuff to do. I don't want you guys showing up until like the doors are going to be locked until nine tomorrow. If you show up at like eight thirty, and I show up, and you and like. I, I got stuff to do. So yeah. Um, so yeah, Steve from maximum guitars has been very, very helpful and, and yeah. So help out Steve. Cause he's a super cool guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think that should wrap us up. You and I have a lot of work to do tomorrow and it's all going to be fun. It is. And by Friday we will have seven. Yep. Guitars. Super cool guitars. Yeah. Super cool guitars. Right. Yeah. At least six. And I want you guys to all be there for the reveal. So yep. until then, um, I don't know if we're going to have a bunch of videos between now and then. We might. We might not. But until then, guys, this is Matt at Texas Toast. This is Chris at Texas Toast. Reminding you that life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. And if you buy it from us, you're super cool. And if you want to be really super cool, you can come and build one with us. So thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Oh, I have to push the button. Okay.